When it comes to golf balls, some of us uh, purchase specific brands, specific types over other golf balls for specific reasons. Some of us want uh, the best golf ball available. Some of us want to play with the pros play. Uh, some of us are loyal to a specific brand and we want to just stick with that. Maybe we have clubs that are that. Uh, but some of us out there, and this is me included, it's kind of one of the reasons I started this channel, is we are a stickler for a good value. We either A, don't have the money to purchase uh, the same golf balls the pros play, or maybe we're just frugal and we love the idea of a good value. We love the idea of, hey, I may not need this product, but you know what, for this price, I just can't let it go. That definitely is me. I know that's definitely a lot of you on the channel as well. That's what we like. That's why we're here. We want to see what golf balls offer really good bang for the buck, especially for the average consumer. So over the last three and a half years now, I've tested quite a few golf balls. And what I've found is that there are quite a few that for, again, an average swinger, I actually perform really, really well at really, really low cost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count them down now. And I'm essentially going to give you my favorite picks for golf balls that I've tested that are an amazing value. Now for this to, for this list to work, you know, the stipulations, really there's only two. One, the value has to be amazing. That's going to be the main thing I'm judging it on. And the golf ball has to actually be decent. I mean, if the golf ball was terrible and it was awful and it was 50 cents a golf ball, wouldn't matter if the value was good or not because it's awful. I'm never ever going to recommend a bad golf ball. So that's really the only two stipulations. Let's go ahead and get this started. Let's rock and roll. Now, real quick, before I do start the list, I do want to give you a heads up. I'm, these aren't necessarily in any particular order. I'm not ranking them. Don't take it to serious heart. I'm just kind of giving you a list. All right, so we're going to actually start with number seven here, and this actually goes to Pinnacle. I got to give Pinnacle some credit. I always overlooked them. I didn't know much about them. A lot of people played them, honestly, mostly seniors and, you know, beginners and people who just lose a lot of golf balls, so I never thought much of them, but I had a few people on the channel tell me that their golf balls performed pretty decently, and after testing it, I can say that that's pretty true. Now the Pinnacle Rush did better for a medium to fast swinger. The soft is going to be for your slow swingers, maybe women, seniors, things like that. Uh, so I didn't have as much luck with that one. But as far as that Pinnacle Rush goes, it had really good numbers. Uh, nothing that blew me away necessarily, but really good numbers, consistent, it had great durability. And these do come out of the Titleist plant. So even though it may not be the high standards that the Pro V1 gets, it does still have high standards when you consider it in the golf ball community compared to some of the other brands you see, such as direct to consumer, uh, some of these, you know, no-name guys, they actually do care. It's still a Titleist golf ball, whether you want to admit it or not, it comes out of that factory and it's owned by them. Uh, so they do take some pride in it for sure. At number six, I am going to actually give this to Snell. Now, you guys know I love Snell. I love what they do. Um, I, I've reviewed their golf balls. I thought what they did this year with their rebrand was awesome. Uh, but really, I'm not even going to narrow it down to a specific ball because, again, when it came to the, the Get Some ball, at $20 a dozen, it's not necessarily the best value on the market. But considering the numbers I tested it with were one of some of the best numbers I'd ever tested, uh, actually, the value is pretty good. $20 for a golf ball, it's something I would purchase again. I would definitely play on the course. And then when we get into the Prime and the Prime X, again, for a f in medium to fast swing speed, those golf balls may not be the best I've ever tested, but the fact that you're getting something that looks and feels and is created by the same guy who did the Pro V1 and you're getting something similar for $33 a dozen, there's a lot of value in there. And that's why Dean Snell, his company... And that's why Snell, by far, has the highest amount of people who want to switch from the Pro V1. That's what they go to, by far. It's definitely the best mimic, whatever you want to call it, you know, a clone on the, on the market out there for a great value. So Snell has a lot of great value there. And not to mention the entire November, they did $5 off a dozen with free shipping. So, I mean, you could have got, you know, $16 a dozen for the, for the get some. You could have got, I think, 28 or 29 for both the Prime and the Prime X. You can't beat that. That's some of the best value out there. And they also do bulk deals also. So if you order in bulk, you'll get some money off as well. So Snell has a lot of value there. There's a lot of potential there. I, I love Snell. So that's why they get the number six spot. Now the Max Fly Golf Balls, uh, here's the thing, when it comes to the tour line, I'm a little, we're kind of beefing right now just because honestly, the, the, they keep increasing in price every year. I like what Maxfly is doing. I love that their tour golf balls are getting better, um, but I'm not seeing a big enough increase in performance every year to justify raising the price $5 every year. We started off two for 55, which was amazing. And then it was two for 60, which is great. And then it was two for 65, which is, you know, good. And then now it's two for 70 and it's like, 
that's not bad, but I just don't test a good enough performance. Uh, you know, I between those two, 35 a dozen or 33 for Snell, I'm going with the Snell. We just talked about that. So um, when it comes to the more tour line golf balls, I feel like they have lost some of their value over the last few, couple of years. However, their, their straight fly and their soft fly line, you can actually get these two for $30. So $15 a dozen, just over a dollar a golf ball. And that's a great value. It's kind of like with the Pinnacle again, with the soft, I just didn't get great numbers because it's more for slow swingers. But when it comes to that straight fly, that is something that if I find on the course, I still will play. It goes really straight, it goes really far, and it's actually pretty decently forgiving. It's a great beginner two-piece golf ball, and there is a ton of value in there. If you're looking for a golf ball that you're gonna lose a little bit of, you want something that's just nice, easy, forgiving, straight, and you have a Dix right down the road, honestly, these are some of the best value you can get. So love what they're doing there. I hate the fact that this golf ball has to take the fourth spot. Um, again, don't take these too literal. I mean, these, depending on the day, could switch around. Uh, but the next one actually is gonna be the Wilson Tour Velocity. Now, this one might surprise a lot of people, but this one actually comes out of something you can just go down to your local Walmart and purchase. But here's the thing, the value's insane. They're only a dollar a golf ball. They're very straight, they're very long. It's just a basic two-piece beginner distance golf ball. And I had really good performance numbers with it. Now, again, the performance performance numbers didn't blow me away, but everything was consistent. Everything was a little bit better than average. And again, when you're talking about a dollar a golf ball, there's going to be a lot of people that might look at that and say, hey, that's something I'm interested in for the value. I don't want to lose a bunch of money or I don't want to spend a ton of money. I just need something that I can go out and play with my buddies. So it's a really good option and it's often overlooked by a lot of people. A golf ball I don't talk enough about on the channel. I, I'm not sure why I don't. I talk about, you know, the number one and number two I talk about a lot. If you're a longtime follower, you already know what they are. But when it comes to number three, the Precept Laddie is just not something that I ever talk about that much. Uh, there's a lot of debate whether or not it's a women's ball or a men's ball. It's actually both. They, they originally came out with it and it was supposed to be both, but because it said Laddie, they thought, you know, oh, it's for ladies. Uh, so they've kind of rebranded a little bit, but no, it, it technically is for anybody. Uh, they kind of aim it at slower swingers, such as your, you know, seniors. But here's the thing, when I tested it, I got some of the best numbers I'd ever tested. When it came to the short wedges, I got some of the best distance, some of the best height I'd ever gotten. Seven iron was phenomenal. Uh, even hybrid did really, really well. Now I did end up just at average on the driver because at that point I was over compressing it, but still really good performance numbers. I think slow swingers and, and more of your 80 to 90 range is going to do really well with this golf ball. And you can get a 24 pack for basically 24 bucks. You can get them at a dollar a golf ball. Even if you buy them, I think they're $15 for a 15 pack. Um, it's a dollar a golf ball. And honestly, that's one of the best values you can get. I think a lot of people overlook this golf ball because of the logo, the design, or maybe because it says Laddie on it, but it tested really well. And it's definitely an underdog. I love how it performed. Uh, before I get to my final two, which most of my followers don't know what they're going to be anyway, I do want to give some honorable mentions. Uh, these are companies that you'll understand in a second here. So um, the first honorable mention I have is actually going to be Brunch Golf. Now, Brunch is a recent golf ball I tested. Um, a gentleman reached out to me, sent them to me. I like them a lot. I've been playing them the last month, and I actually kind of like them. It's a little firm for my taste. Uh, the numbers aren't perfect, but it's a really good value at $40 for 16 golf balls. And he's actually trying to get that number down. He thinks he can get it to around 30 If you can get 16 golf balls for 30 bucks. That's going to be amazing, even if he got it down to 35. So I just wanted to give him a shout out. There's some really good value there. And honestly, I, I enjoyed the golf ball. So I just wanted to give a shout out. Now, this is a golf ball I haven't tested with the new monitor and the new clubs and all that. So I can't really for sure put it in the list. Uh, but the Callaway Diablo Tour is actually a pretty decent golf ball. And you can get them two for 45 right now. So 24 golf balls for 45 bucks. That's actually a really, really good value. And I know there are some diehard loyalists out there who love this golf ball and talk about it, because I know, because you guys get on the, uh, I get tons of comments on that particular review. Um, I would love to update the new, uh, re update the review and review the new model. Um, I'll probably wait until I get the Bushnell to do that, but still, I'm gonna do that. I love that golf ball. Um, I still will play them on the course. And honestly, at that value, you can't go wrong.
Another one that I haven't tested with the new equipment is going to be the TaylorMade Soft Response, not the Tor Response, but the Soft Response. And you can pretty much get those around two for 50, so 25 a dozen, and that's a three-piece golf ball. So that's a really, really good value. I loved that golf ball. It had an amazing feel. Um, we actually use them as range balls at the new golf course I work at, so it's really cool there as well. Um, but yeah, love the Soft Response, love how it performs, and at that value, it's really good too. I will be doing an updated review when I get the Bushnell next year. And of course, can't forget about this one, uh, Vice Golf. Vice is another one I haven't had the chance to do updated tests, but they definitely need it. It's been about three years since I've done the test on Vice, so they, they need an updated review for sure. Uh, but Vice always has great value. They're priced at $37 a dozen if you go retail for the, for the high ones for the Pro, the Pro Soft and the Pro Plus. Um, and then if you order them in bulk, the more you buy, the more you save. You can get them down to like 30 a dozen, which honestly, if you become a Vice guy, which is very easy to do because Vice makes it easy for you to do based on their, their packaging and marketing and uh, design and performance and all that stuff, um, you can actually get a really good deal on buying in bulk. So definitely a shout out to Vice. I am going to give Strixon and Wilson a little shout out because twice a year they run a deal where it's buy two, get one free. And if you buy their golf balls during that sale, it is an amazing value. Um, a, a buddy of mine decided to go with the Q-Star Divide, just total. It's actually Alex. You guys know him from the channel. Um, he went full on, like, I'm just going to use the Tour, uh, the the, gosh, there's a lot of golf balls out there, the Q-Star Tour Divide. Uh, he wanted to use it exclusively, so they were running the buy two, get one, so he was able to stock up, and essentially you get them for about 23 a dozen somewhere in there if you buy them that way, 22 a dozen, 22 50 a dozen. Um, that's an amazing deal. Uh, it really is. That's an incredible deal for that golf ball. Three-piece, can't beat it, performs really great, has the alignment tool, love it. And same thing with Wilson as well, because Wilson offers the buy two, get one, so if you love their Wilson Tour golf balls, you know, you pay 100 and you get three, you get them for 33 a dozen opposed to 50 a dozen. That's a great deal. That's There's so much value in there if you're a longtime loyalist to either of those companies. Uh, so keep an eye out for those sales. I haven't tested this one, but I'll be honest with you. Callaway makes some really good golf balls, and they have the Callaway Warbirds right now at... Uh, let me see this. Let me make sure this is right. Two for 35, so $17.50 a dozen. That's a decent value. This is one where I... I I, I thought about not including it on the list. I, I don't know, but I've had a lot of you tell me to review it. You say you like it um, at that price point. That's a really good value. So I'm interested to see what those numbers come out to. And the last one I'll give a shout out to. I, look, top flight golf balls, it is what it is, right? I mean, it's the cheapest of the cheap. I don't know of any other golf balls other than Nitro, which I don't consider a golf ball. Um, I don't know of any other golf ball that's cheaper than this. You can get them for way under a dollar a golf ball. You can get them from Dick's at that. They always have like two for uh, two for 20 for a 12 pack. So, I mean, you're going to get 24 golf balls for 20. Um, they don't perform the greatest. They're not the worst either. They're, they're kind of mediocre, but they're not by far I've tested worse, trust me. Uh, but when it comes to golf balls, if you're a guy who's out just partying, drinking beer, and you just want a cheap golf ball because you're going to hit a bunch into the woods or a bunch into the water, can't beat that. Can't beat that. I mean, they're really inexpensive and you can get some great deals there. And then if you do want to play one that's just kind of okay, but you're still losing them, say you play a really tough course, uh, the Gamer is also a really cheap, inexpensive golf ball three-piece that um, it's it's okay. You know, it's not bad. It's not good. It's, it's okay. So um, I, I give them a small shout out. At number two, I have the Wilson Zip. This is a longtime favorite of the channel. Uh, I love a bunch of things about it. And honestly, this is the golf ball that I get the majority of my followers comment and say, hey, I played this golf ball because of your review. I get tons of people tell me that they're Wilson Zip guys now because of it. Um, and it's not hard to see why. One, the feel is phenomenal. It has a great bouncy ball effect. It just springs off the club. The forgiveness is some of the best I've ever seen on a golf ball. I mean, I would miss hit it off the toe or off the inside a little bit, and I would get basically only minus two yards. I mean, it was basically right square on. It had amazing dispersion. It had amazing consistency. It was just really easy to pick up and play. Um, and honestly, the numbers weren't half bad either. However, they weren't as good as our number one spot, which is the Cut Red, of course. Now, Cut actually is a great value brand in general. Uh, you can get most of their you know, golf balls, their three-piece, their four-piece for either $20 a dozen or $25 a dozen, which is amazing because they are urethane. And the Cut DC is at $29.99 for like a more 
tour-ish type ball, budget tour ball, another great value there. But even then, the cut blue has some issues, the gray has some issues, there's, there's some things, but there's no deal quite like the cut red. It is a dollar a golf ball. You can get a 24 pack for $20, I think, at Walmart. It's, in some cases, it's under a dollar, but a dollar is really the max. Um, and with that being said, it had some phenomenal numbers. It just jumped off the club. It's super straight, it's forgiving. I love it a lot. It's easy to pick up and play, and if you lose one, you don't hate yourself so much because they're so cheap. Uh, now, the only thing against Cut Red is I have had some people tell me over the last year or so that there have been some durability issues. I do believe that's the case. I still haven't experienced it myself, but I've had enough people tell me that to where I have to believe it. I know Cut as a company has some stuff going on behind the scenes. I don't know what it is. I haven't reached out yet. I need to. Uh, but regardless of all that, still, I can still pick up a cut red and play it if I need to, and it's really straight. I love to use it when I'm driving the golf ball because I get really good numbers off the driver with it, um, and it just goes straight. It's really forgiving. It's easy to hit. So that is the list there. That is some of my favorite, most of value golf balls on the market that I've tested. Um, now, if you have one that you really, really like, if you think I missed one, if you have a question about one, shoot it in the comments. I want to hear. Maybe I just haven't tested it yet. Maybe I don't even know about it. There's a lot of golf balls out there. So thank you for watching this video. As always, keep watching to keep saving and keep learning until next time. And also, if you're a new uh, person here, or even if you're existing, if you want to support the channel, I do in the description have a GoFundMe. We are buying a Bushnell launch monitor, very expensive one. You know, right now we're using a basic entry model, so our numbers are mostly accurate, you know, 90, 95% accurate, but I would love to get more data for you guys. I would love to get more 100% accurate results. Um, so I don't have any other way. I don't have merch or anything. I don't have any way to support the channel. So if you want to, you know, go give a dollar, $5, or if not, just being here is enough. Thanks guys, as always, until next time.